Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to another episode of Cinoblade Mondays, right here at the Force in Unison Gaming Channel. Of course, I am your host, Dantes, and today I am going to explain how to get the hidden, unique monster called Peace Hunter William. So, how do you make this guy spawn? Basically, you need to complete a specific set of quests. And right now, I'm showing in the video the first quest that you need to complete. And it's called, We Meet Again. And this quest is available as soon as you get into More Ordain for the first time. Now, the second quest that you need to complete is called, Insurgent Investigations. And this guy is located at uh, More Ordain Palace. So, again, go there, find the uh, senator. And basically, this quest is all about how they kill his wife and again it's like a long storyline that gets you to where you need to be the third quest that you need to complete is farewell good friend and basically you find out in the story the senator's uh so so look whatever his name is is affiliated with the rebel faction lingwin so again complete it's a long-term quest story which is nice so even minor quests like this ones gets you to, uh, uh, has a nice side story if you would put it that way so again this is the third quest you need to complete farewell good friend and the final quest you need to complete to be able to spawn peace hunter William is called Banas secret treasure basically this is the finish this is where everything ends in the storyline which is pretty cool I'm not gonna spoil it I would recommend you complete the full quest line anyway once you do all those quests you're gonna see our boy Beast Hunter Williams just sitting down, taking it easy, bathing in the sun. But the problem, Beast Hunter Williams, is that you're gonna get your ass whooped by Dantes. And now I'm just showing a little bit of the fight. I'm not gonna go into uh, great explanations like I've done in my uh, Super Boss videos uh, because this is a unique monster. It should be a simple one. But still, if you saw this other video, he can kill you in one shot. He has kind of some of the same powers. Uh, uh, Gladiator Orion, so you have to be careful when he sends his weapon to his blade because that means he's gonna throw some of those uh, bad like right there He just sent his weapon to the blade. He's gonna do some powerful arts when he does that, but you should be fine uh, I faced this uh, Unique monster when I was level 87 and yeah, so once in a while he can get painful, uh, but you should be fine uh, Admittedly, I should have ended this fight sooner But I wanted to put as many elemental orbs as possible because I like to do that so uh, at the end, he kind of knocks me off my knocker a couple of times, but still, I knew I could get him. Uh, anyway, uh, the other piece of this, again, is th this unique monster can hit in one shot. Just build your potty gauge. Have those pouch items that build your potty gauge so you can uh, recharge it really fast if you need to revive one of your characters. Of course, like I always say, Morak is set up to, with high agility, and of course, Poppy Cutie Pie is set up to bring the pain. <laughs> anyway, let's see how you go. He, he, there you go. He just sent a slash right there. But Poppy Cutie Pie is a wall. Well, Poppy Alpha is a wall that those slashes did not hurt Tora. Uh, and what I do is typically when I see that weapon being sent to the to his uh, blade, I just, eh, let me stay away here and wait until he's not doing that crap. <laughs> anyway, two elemental orbs down. And I'm gonna put three right now with Zenobia. Ooh, bringing the hurt. Crap indeed. <laughs> oh, he got enraged. Now he's gonna bring. He, he's gonna bring now the pain, which he will. He, he's gonna get me at one point in this fight. You're gonna see he he killed a couple of my guys. But I was like, yeah, you can do all that, but I still will survive. Again, I bring Blade Nia just in case I need to heal once in a while in this fight. Uh, but. Again, it's not a, it's, it's a, I think it's an easy fight. With those air elemental orbs that I already have, I should have uh, just ended with a chain attack and, and that, that would be, it would have been done. But you know me, trying to get all those elemental orbs to bring even more pain to uh, Beast Hunter William here. Awesome. <laughs> Boo! Uh, Poppy Alpha uh, laying the smack down. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Oh, here we go. See, he starts bringing the pain with those slashes. I hate those slashes. Same type of slashes that Gladiator Orion used to do. I hate those slashes. 
Uh, anytime now, guys. I don't know why. Uh, it's Morak always the one who uh, revise. Uh, Tora only revise if Morak and Rex are down at the same time. And then he's gonna go again with do one of those slash it. But uh, I was lucky the Tora activated unbeatable. Should be healing. But just when I was gonna heal him, poof, he knocked me back, and that stopped my the flow. But it's all good. I, I knew that I could I could get the chain attack back up. And the reason for that, I keep saying, is my pouch items recharge that potty gauge really fast. Okay. Let's put Earth on him. I think he got plenty of elemental orbs. So now the only goal that I have, because he, again, he took down some of my potty gauge, uh, because I had to revise some of my characters, was to get that potty gauge back up as soon as possible. Which, again, with Mithra, she does the job and he recharges that gauge really fast and with a lot of crits for sure now i switch to the last form of the aegis and now beast hunter william is gonna say bye bye like always i use the final form of the aegis so i can hit all the orbs at the same time boom time to hit the opposite elemental here we go aegion boom burst Who's next? Maybe I'll just bring Poppy Cutie Pie to the equation. Oh, another purse! Oh, Beast Hunter William, I, I feel sorry for you. Hey, you did put up a good fight. I'm not going to deny that. Like, I think it's nice that this game has some unique monsters that are hidden or are inside a quest. Uh, the only one would be Relentless Arduran. You have to be careful. Please keep feeding that Arduran. Uh, so you can get him because that's the only missable uh, unique monster in the game. So you don't want you don't want to kill him before he gets fully power up. Anyway, there we go. We're gonna end it with who? With Poppy QT Pie. Oh, here we go. Excellent. And that's it for Base Hunter Williams. Let's pick up the spoils. Maybe Toro will modify Poppy. It's so sweet how everything you do is for Poppy's sake, Tora. Yup, almost missed that money. <laughs> Even though I don't need it by this point in the game, honestly. But here we go. You can see uh Beast, Hunt Beast Hunter William. Uh little grave. Sorry, dude, you had to get your ass whoop. You were just sitting down, baiting in the sun, and this a-hole had to come and ruin your vacation. Uh, against any, any uh, type of a bl uh, driver type of enemy, you really want Auto Balancer, because you want to uh, go through his blocking, because he will block a lot, but with Auto Balancer, he cannot stop you from attacking. That's why I like Auto Balancer. Uh, now, some of the pouch items, again, you can see them. I'm not going to go in details because, again, I've explained this a lot in all the Super Bosses videos. Uh, and this is the first non-Super Boss, but still a unique monster, a strong unique monster. A hidden unique monster that I wanted to explain how to get so you guys can go up his face and kick his candy ass. Anyway, with that said, let's end this. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment. So you can make this crazy MF happy. Also, please remember that we do have a Nintendo podcast called the Get In and Get Out Nintendo podcast every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, go to the description box below so you can see the full channel schedule for all our content. Also, we do have a Facebook page called at Forcing Unison Gaming. And finally, and then this is finally, go to Chigero's News SwissCar.com and give some clicks and love to my boy Caliones. With all that said, thank you again and please enjoy watching my build. Long live Cinoblaze. See you guys.